have some major dependencies like like uh, alcohol, food, drugs, sex, something like that, or maybe public speaking. Like I had an issue with public speaking before, so I had to do like four treatments before I could actually stand in front of people. Like I was uh, chosen to do the TEDx talk in Europe, and night before um, the actual, uh, we have like a, how do you call it? The night before you rehearsal. Rehearsal in front of the cameras and everything. So what happens is. Um, I just stand there, I saw that red carpet, I saw the cameras, it was only 50 people in the first row, it's not like it was a full call. I couldn't say a word, I, I just totally lost. And I had like, I, my, in my mind I felt like I had 300,000 thoughts at the same time, it was like, I, I just couldn't do it. So I gave up on that. Um, so last year I did the TEDx talk after I did clean up. But they didn't even know that I had a fear of public speaking before I actually stepped on that podium. Uh, prior to that. So, uh, because there was a lot of charge attached to it, I had to repeat this, uh, the treatment a couple of times. And why I like it as well, and why people in, in Hollywood loves it, or love this method, is because it's very confidential. Remember, we just work with these four elements, so we don't even talk about the problem. Because every time you talk about something, it doesn't matter what it is, good or bad, or if you talk about someone, you basically feed that person with energy. And as Nikola Tesla stated, every time you talk about something, it evolves, grows, becomes bigger, and even more installed into your psyche. So it doesn't go away. So every time you go to a psychologist or your friends and you talk about something, you're basically building up that problem. Or building up that other person that you talk about, so that per person becomes stronger. Because everything in life is energy. As Nikola Tesla stated, if you start seeing things through energy, vibration, and frequency, everything will be clear to you. Life will no longer be a mystery. So, um, so that's the best part about this method. It's fast and it's confidential. So uh, that's why I like it uh, than any other method that exists. Because I went to the Congress of Psychologists and Therapists in Europe a couple of years ago. And the conclusion was like, if you want to go to clinical psychologists, you have to go twice a week, um, two to six years or more, uh, in average to make a serious progress. If you want to go to transactional psychoanalyst, you have to go six to eight months because they have more tools, they'll be more productive. But the PEAT method is one up to seven treatments. That's very, very fast. So, um, and then another thing that uh, PEAT has that I have not seen in any other method is after you complete the, pro uh, the session and you ask the client what happened with the problem, and the client says the problem is gone, then you ask him three questions. Secure, we call them like uh, insurance questions. So first question is, is there anything else that shows up in regards to this problem that we just solved? So for example, if you're working, like if your problem that you actually want to solve is anger with your wife, husband, boss, friend, whoever. So if you solve that problem and you no longer have anger in regards to that person, then maybe insecurities can pop up. Uh, might happen that something else comes up. So, um, then if something else pops up, we work on that. We do a completely new treatment on that, so it doesn't come again. And then the second question we ask people is, do you think this problem might come in the future without your consent? That means that, um, so, so if people say maybe, I'm not sure, we work on future. So it doesn't happen in the future again. And the third question, which is an um, interesting question for me, is we ask, is anybody else involved in this problem? Like if you have interpersonal relationship issue or something that you're solving, you know, issue with your wife, husband, boss, whoever. Then if you say yes, and then we do meta positioning. Basically, you get into the position of that person and you solve the problem. Because most of the time, there's more charge into that position than the me position. Once you solve that, your relationship with that person is transformed completely. Because it's all about energy. Remember what I told you before. Everything is about energy, frequency, vibrations. So, and my shock, biggest shock is when I see that people have, most people think that we have a relationship with other people in reality, but we really don't. We only have relationships with our constructs, actually about our projections about these people that we think we have relationships with. So once you fix these constructs and these projections, then relationship is transformed completely. Because reality is that we are all, um, as Robert Lanza states, reality doesn't exist without the observer, so we are all creator of our own reality. So the bottom line is that um, I create my own stories, 
and my actually my subconscious because subconscious is 95 percent your conscious is only five percent so whatever programs i have in my subconscious that creates my story that's a writer that's a main writer of my life and but i'm a main executive producer i'm a director i'm a writer and i'm a main role in my life same thing with you you are the main role director writer and everything in your life and the role that i'm playing in your life i could be angel transform transform how do you call it transform Transformational angel, mm -hmm. or just some bypass, or whatever you guys choose. You see what I'm saying? But you guys are writing a role for me in your life. And I cannot be anything else besides that role that's written. But the main executive director of, the, of that script is your subconscious. Because the bottom line is if this is us, 95% is subconscious, 5% is conscious. So that's why law of attraction never really works. Uh, because most people want to build a positive on a, on a, on a conscious level. Oh, I'm going to be positive, I'm going to be happy, blah, 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 blah. And like most of my friends and clients, they're like, you know, happy-go-lucky, um, you know, I'm the luckiest person in the life, whatever. And they can't even walk the land. <laughs> you know, they're basically flying. But once they hit the floor, the heat is so strongly they can't get up for a very, very long time. And why? Because their base is filled with programming that doesn't support the belief structure they want to build on top of it. It's the same thing if you're building 54 high-rise uh, without any foundation, or on a bad foundation that's on, on a beach, like it's not going to support it. So you have to have a foundation that's going to support the belief structure that you build on top. And that's why it's so important to clean up all the programming, because uh, as a church and Ottoman Empire states, most of our uh, programming is done up to the age of 67. You know, because uh, in psychology we say children learn by modeling, you know, and uh, like in, from zero to two, our brain waves are in delta waves. From two to six, they're in theta waves. They're both used for hypnosis. So whatever you saw or you heard in the childhood up to age six or seven, it's already programmed in you. But, and who are we, basically? We're just a reflection of people we surround ourselves with, people that we love the most. So the bottom line is, you know, Ant comes to you and says, oh, you're really shy, you know. And you know, any belief structure to exist, you need to have a support for that. So you're looking for support Am I really shy? You know what I mean? So what happens, you're looking for the evidence, not support, for the evidence. English is not my first language. So looking for the evidence of you're shy. So you hit 20 years old, you go out on a date with a guy, and you say, oh, I'm, you know, I'm shy. Shy genes don't exist. He just didn't like me. <laughs> Could be that too. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is, basically we are just projection of the people we surround ourselves with, mostly the people we love the most. And the sad thing is that we, most of the time we pick up the belief structures from people uh, that these beliefs didn't serve them in the first place anyway. So we adopted them as our own, we nourish them as our own. And that's where the, that, because every time you're out of balance, uh, here's, uh, here's another thing that I like to say. Uh, people can, like people, there's no good or bad people, they're just people who are out of balance or they're people in the balance. Same like our cells in our body. You have over 50 trillion cells in your body and they're all producing 1.4 millivolts of energy. It's just for function of your own organs. I'm not talking about energy that we emit outside of that. Just what's needed to, to be in function. So all of these cells, you have cancer cells, they're out of balance. You have healthy cells, they're in balance. So the cancer cells will do everything in their power to, to poison everything around them. So they can, what? Everything in life is a relationship so that that cancer cells can relate to the other cell. You see, so it can be recognized because everything in life, Architecture, psychology, uh, biology, you name it, everything is relationships, in relationship to something or someone. The same thing, like if you have some person that's like in a bad mood, that person will do anything in their power to ruin your mood so they can relate to you. Not because they want, they're mean or whatever, but they have to have a relationship with somebody. Otherwise, if you cut off, you die. Everything in life is interconnection because in reality, we're all interconnected. We all, you know. If I'm looking at you guys now, and I can maybe register 20 to 24 frames per second. What's that tells me? In reality, we all come and, come and go at speed of light. Every cell of your body is just frequency, vibration. It comes, go, comes and goes at speed of light. So I cannot really register what's really going on with all of us. It's the same thing, for example, if you take a snail and put a snail on a, on a, and you put a snail on a table, and you go kill a wife or husband, and that snail is a perfect alibi in a court because for snail, it's one frame, minute and a half. You know what I mean? So snail never really saw what you did. Same thing that we 